Kira, welcome to my channel. Um, waste some time with Maggie. Um, I have um, been following Leslie and her channel is 507 Willow House Journals and she made an envelope journal different than what I make and I thought I'd have a go at doing it and so I did it and forgot to turn on my computer now most of my envelopes have already been opened so I sewed the edges so that I would have a pocket here and this envelope is glued on just a half on there and then opened up and I'd already glued this in so this is one envelope two envelopes that one's glued onto that one and then this one here sort of came around in the, the arch like um, like that I don't know if you can see it and to fold this one in it made it a bit short so we so we cut it shorter so now we're going to have pages in here oh well a signature in here of four pages a signature in here of six pages and a skinny signature of six pages in there and I have already um, organized my signatures just with bits of paper I had around um, these ones here were were um, heavier sheet pictures and I really liked them and I wanted to have them in but they weren't big enough so I just glued that one onto there so that is that and a bit of um, coffee dyed printable letters I printed that one I bought a some coffee dyed print, printable kit so that some newsprint this one here was another one that I, that I bought and when I printed it off, and I don't know if you can see it, but my printer decided it was going to play up, so it's got little wee lines through it. But I'm going to use it anyway. I don't care, because it'll most probably get covered. So that one, and this one here, is I have got this great big A2 ledger that I brought in um, a local op shop for five dollars i've been looking at it for weeks and weeks and weeks and i wanted 25 dollars for it and i wouldn't pay that and you know went in one day and the price had gone and up and said oh how much is this and she said five dollars i said well thank you i'll have that so these are my that is my first signature of six pages and i'm going to sew that in there so i thought Oh, I'll turn the computer on even though I've just started and messed up. So I'm going to put that one out so that I don't, um, don't muck it up. And get my pages. I want them to be in the middle. And that one there and just a book page and my all and I'm going to just do a three three hole pamphlets pamphlet I'm just going to see if this will reach. Most probably not. And this is very, very, very oh yes. Just hold that together while I get some. I just made a very strong coffee to do some on my own coffee dye papers. And I spilt a bit on my desk and it's a nuisance one. Two, 
So I've got a couple of days of rest because I had my eye shot and the day I have them done I can't see. I'm blind for quite a few hours, well practically blind. Right, so I'm just going to pull that through up the top. down the bottom and back in there with hopefully not splitting my thread oh I'm sorry I just had to get it closer to my eye so I could see it and I'll just pull it out again didn't I right there we go and pull it on the other side of my page, don't pull it too tight because it's not, um, not strong pages, let's do a couple of knots, yeah so I had a few days off to give my eyes a rest and been running around after my husband because he had a cancerous bit taken off his leg. Right, I'll just hang that down I think. Right, not too bad. We have a little look, see if we fold up okay. So that's going to go that way. So that folds that way and this one folds in there like that awesome so that's good so let's pull this bit out here and our going to have another signature a little skinny one which is more or less the same sort of pages some different book page that I um, didn't have wide enough so I just glued two pages together a little bit of um, scrapbooking paper I think that is and this one here I had glued it onto something else so it's got a little bit of stuff stuck to it but that'll get covered over so I don't really care because it's a pretty bit of paper the music paper and some more of this coffee dyed paper that has got the lines on it but I'm okay with that so I'll just even that up now let's see what have I got on the front of that page yep that's okay that's okay so now we've got to get you in there like that and find my all now Try and get my um, bits around about the same place. Not that I really care if they're not. I'm not that fussy about that sort of thing. Right, there's my clip. I'll just clip that on there. Get another, some more thread. One. Two, three. It's my granddaughter due date today, but doesn't look anywhere like she's going to go into labour anytime soon. She's so over it. Right, put that in there like that, and up the top, oops, totally missed that, I just have to move this around so I can 
see where I am going. Just three there again. Push it through a bit further. Right. That's better. Down the other end. And back in the middle. There we go. Right. On the opposite side, yes. Didn't really need to cut that much cotton after all, did I? Oh, he's a little bit generous. Never mind. I'm starting to run out of um, embroidery cotton. I have to buy some more. Right. Yep, that's tight enough. hang down there just in case I tie something on it so that goes like that that goes like that and I think that this one is going to fold in there that one's going to go there this is going to come over this way this very confusing a little bit of the book that Jack built and my second page this is a printable and it's just white on the other side but I'm okay with that music paper this one here was a printable that I printed off and my computer decided to stop halfway through but I thought that looked quite cool with the blue and the purple on it so I thought oh, I'll just use it anyway and let's just put that one there and this one in there like that and that is all we're going to do. Right. Yep, get that here. Like that. And we'll have a look. See where we are. We're about, we're about there. And about there. And in the middle. Right. And See if we can just clip that in there a minute. One, two, three. Won't stretch them out quite so far this time, but never mind. Hopefully it will be okay. Right, now, in through, let me see, where are you, in through there, yep. nope, I want to go through that way, don't I, I don't know, right, and through here. I don't know how do where we are. Let's see where my hole is. Must be there somewhere. There. Right. Down through there. Down through. through here. Right. This is right where our pocket is. And there we go. No, opposite 
side you want to go, please. Thank you. Right. It's tight enough. We are one on either side, are we? Yes, we are. Right. to think when I'm doing this. <laughs> Can't check in. Try not. I'm not very good at doing one-handed. Usually if I want to try and not get one of the kids to put their finger there. <laughs> I think my hands are the oldest part of me at the moment. Right. Long, pull that off so that is in there. Just move this book out of the road. And this is the base of my little signature there. And now pocket here and our signature here and open there and our signature there oh, I'm quite pleased with that that's quite cool right now I found a bit of a bit of printable here that I'm going to put on just to just to cover all the, the writing and the stamping I'm just going to put that there like that. This glue stick is just about finished. Yes, yeah, so I've never really, um, I think I've made one journal that I decorated, a vintage one. Yep. I was going to have the prize for my 2,000 subscribers but I had four journals in the end and let them choose and it didn't get chosen so I still got it so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it but that's cool I like that now we we'll have something on here too let's see what I've got Got quite a few of these printables. This has got a little bit of pink in it. Just get my just get my um, ruler here. Now we'll just trim that down. Right, and I think we might just put a little bit of. Um, A little bit of um, ink on it to colour it up a bit more. Right. Okay, go there. I don't think that I. It's as crooked as a dog's hind leg. Look at that. Let's see if I can just straighten it up. in there have a little look see how much I've got to get yep, it's got to come off that much that much at that end down to nothing yep cool right I'm going to glue that down there. I'll just take that little bit off, a little bit of white off the end there. It stands out quite strongly because there's colour on it. I'm going to put that there like that, I think.
Yeah, so my sister down the South Island is just crossing her fingers that she does not come down with COVID e either. Now that's crooked on the bottom there, but that's just shocking. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to get some ink. And what are we going to have? That's a little purple there. So like a little bit of blue. With a little bit of blue ink. And just add some bit of colour to it. I think I think really strong. Just strengthen that up. Right, that's that done. I put a bit of ink on that as well. Now here, we need something on here. This bit here was a bit crooked, but. That's okay. So what are we going to put on there? Just put a bit of coffee dyed on there. That would be nice. Let's get this see what we need. to either. I don't know. Absolutely useless I am. I'm going to blame it on my eyesight. <laughs> Not that I've ever been able to draw all the straight line. That should be better. Yep. That is fine. Just to cover up a bit of the blue. straight that um, page but never mind it is down yeah that looks a little bit better right now this front bit needs to be covered right I've got a bit of bit of book page here nicely um aged it's out of a Byron Book of Byron um, poems. So I think I'm going to glue that on there for a start. Just pull it out this way so that we don't get glue everywhere. Right now, what did I do with it? Okay. Right. No, it's not going to go straight. Just have to 
lift it up so I can see how close I get to the edge. I can always ink it if I don't get right to the edge. Right. Hmm. Not too bad. I just take that off there. I'm just glue that over just to strengthen the edge. Right. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to put that there. I've got some ladies here. They're really pretty, but I don't know if they're um, too bright. No. Then again, I'm not don't have any style that I'm going to use, so I'll take that away. I might not use that at all. I might just put a lady down like that. Which one? I like that green one. Yeah, that one's a bit bright. I like that actually. I just leave it so you can see just a little bit of the words po poking out. Quite like that. Oops, here I am, not in shot, sorry. I think I might just put that like that. Just a little bit of the letters out there. We do that. I think so. I think so. Why not? Get something down for a start, just to just to start us off. That's about right. Whoops, that's not straight. That's not straight at all. I told you I've got terrible, terrible That's better That's better Yeah, I like that Now on the back here I have got I'm just going to um, put another little wee lot of um, papers in here that can be used as note papers. Have a look, I've got some, some here, a couple. I'm going to use a bit of, bit of um, book page here. Go in there. And what else? Um, another book page here. What is this? This is out of a um, something all about teas, elderflower tea, fennel seed tea, fennel Greek. Tea, five finger tea, flaxseed tea, fragrant hyssop, and, a, and ginger tea on the bottom. So we just pop that in there as well. And we'll have that on the front. We'll have it on the front like that, and that like that, and have that there like that. Now, should we stick it in or just have it as a Need a um, right. I found a little paper clip, we'll just clip that on with for now. Oh, cool, oh, thanks. Far enough up, yeah. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, cool. That's what we've done for a start. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But I want something to go in here. And I did find, where is it? Right, I did find this bit of card that I'd cut out. And it needs a, needs a tag on it, doesn't it? I found a little um, piece that the colours go nicely with. So I'm just going to trim it up. And I think that we will just make a little tag out of it like this. A little butterfly just like that to go in there now just glue it right now we just glue it together for a start except for that little bit there and then we'll just slip you about like that I think Now, I only want it to stick out a little bit because otherwise it won't be able to close into the into the um, journal. Hopefully that will be enough. Let me just slip that in there like that. Hmm. Well, that still doesn't. What we need is a little. Right, I'm back. I've drawn a little bit. And hopefully I can. Cut it off without too much trouble. Hopefully. That here. Otherwise, I'll just chop it up. I know me. Right. Well, that that has got to have something. Pencil again and draw like that. Just so it um strengthens it up a little bit. Something else will most probably go over it in time, but or around it. But for now, I think I'm quite happy with that. Right now, this here will get trimmed off. Yeah, try not to cut my um thread. What am I doing? Glued the wrong bit. I've got to wipe it off again. Right. Okay. I'm okay with that. I think we need something in there along that edge too. Just to... That just fits there nicely. Right, so that goes there and that goes there. Yeah, that 
definitely need something along there just to like that and go over here now let's go in here again down on the side like that just go around there cover that sewing up and pull this out on this side you can tell that I don't do this sort of thing very often and tuck it back in right Oh, he's got a crease in it, but never mind. Right. And our page. Go okay, back in there like that. Awesome. I like that. So I'll be fishing out some more stuff to put in it and um, cover pages with so thank you for being with me kia kaha stay strong and i'll catch you again soon